Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to download any game you want for your PlayStation Classic for free using the NPS browser which stands for No Pay Station and this is on, well as you can see on a Mac if you want it for Windows don't worry I've got a video covering that so feel free to check that out I'm going to say, low disclaimer, this is for educational purposes only the game that I will be downloading and you know converting which, which is part of the process I own in digital form on PS3 and I also own the original physical form as well which is going to be Crash Bandicoot Free Warped. So just a little disclaimer, this video is not condoning piracy, it is purely for educational purposes and if you own the game that is another matter. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is open up your web browser and you want to just Google Homebrew. So we are going to install the homebrew tool which is a package manager that allows us to install stuff you can do it a slightly different method this way it's a lot easier and you're not you know jumping all over the place when you're trying to install stuff so literally copy this command open up terminal paste it in here and you just put your password in it won't show but it is typing click enter and this probably will be quicker for me because I've already got it installed. But just go through this process, you know, just wait for it to complete. And once it's actually completed, we can, you know, move on to the next step, which is installing a tool called Wine. So Wine essentially allows us to run executables, executables that are meant for Windows. And the the executable that we actually need the application that we actually need is something called ps extract nps allows us to download the game there is a mac version of it so we'll be using that ps extract allows us to convert the downloaded file which is in dot pbp format which is you know for playstation portable so psp in the future i'm hoping that this does change and ISOs and PVPs are supported on the PlayStation Classic. I'm you know, very certain that will be the case, but for now, you have to convert it to bin and Q files. Okay, so this is you know, gonna take a little while. What I'm gonna do is actually, oh, it's installing. I was literally just about to cancel it. The reason I was about to cancel it, cause you know, even though I might not have the latest versions of the tools, I already confirmed that it was working, so that was the reason why. But yeah, let us just wait for this process, the installation process to complete, and then we'll continue. And like I said, we're gonna be installing Wine. We're gonna be installing Wine using Homebrew. You can download it manually yourself, but I recommend using Homebrew. There's a couple of things that we'll need to install as a result. The, we'll need to install Xcorts to be able to use wine and then we'll be at, then we will need to actually install wine itself so i'm just hoping that this completes very soon so download installing homebrew this hopefully should be very quick because i've already got homebrew and hopefully any moment now you're finished and then we can continue on to the next step of installing wine so come on come on hannah buddy don't let me down almost there come on just just finish downloading it and installing it, obviously. Mm -hmm. Nehalen, I remember that was the code name or the architecture name for was it the first CPU Intel architecture that they did with the Core i7? I think it was. Okay, we're all done. It's all installed now. So now we need to install Xcourse. So you do brew cask install. X Q U A R T Z. Click that, and this will install it. For me, I've already installed it. Just installed it right now. For you, it might take. It will take. It, it actually will take a bit of time. Just be patient. If you ask for a password, just type that in. And now we're going to do brew install wine. So again, I've already did. I've already done it, so it probably won't take very long for me. Oh, it's already done. Now we can actually download NPS. Oh, I'll go with that. We can download NPS. So if we Google 
no pay station go to the website I'll provide links to everything that you need so you want to download the MPS browser for Mac OS dot uh, DMG okay next we want to download PSX games this is basically the TSV file it's just a list of all of the games and where they can download it from and the package manager is just a nice tool to you know facilitate that next what we want to do is download PS extract this is only in Windows form and that's the reason we're going to be using wine so it's the last step that we actually need a wine for so go to release go to PS extract.exe now we're actually done with the browser so we can close that down now what we want to do I'll clear the console so it's a little nicer to view and first thing we want to do is launch up NPS browser.dmg and then from here we'll drag this over like so now I'm just going to search for it so it's NPS browser launch this up click open if it says anything about you know it's but security pattern, you know, it doesn't pass security. You just have to go into your system preferences and go into security and privacy, and then just click open anyway from here. Okay, so here, what you want to do is go to preferences, go to PSX games, click this button here, go to your download directory, wherever the .tsv file is, select this. Now that's all you need to do because we're not interested in anything else. Clip, keep everything else as default. You can change the download location, but I'm happy to, for you to download it. Downloads, click save. Now, if you go to this drop down, select PSX games, and it'll refresh it, it'll get you all of the games. You can search for it to help make things easier. I'm gonna select the EU version. This is just my preference, and I'm gonna select Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Like I said, I already own this game in digital and in physical form so it's a different matter and now all you do is once you selected it from here click download go right here as you can see it'll start downloading it and your download will appear so it'll be done in a few seconds and I'll show you what you need to do so once this is download downloaded there's one last step and then that's it, it's just the conversion from the PBP file to the bin and Q file. And then we're done and then you can put it onto your PlayStation Classic, play all those old games that you, you know, legitimately own and you'll be all good to go. Okay, this is almost done, a few more seconds. Okay, so if you go to NPS Downloads, go to PSX, PSP EMU, PSP Game, and now in here, copy and paste these, so copy, them right here and now what we want to do is run this psextract.exe on these two files what i'm going to do is create a new folder put these files inside of that folder and it's just to you know organize it a little bit and now what i'm going to do is open up terminal change directory to this particular folder like so now we need to run the psextract.exe to run it using wine you put wine psextract.exe afterwards you put dash c so this is just saying you know convert it to a bin and q file and now you just put eboot.pbp click enter this will run psextract.exe and it is just it's extracting it building the final aisle so it means only a few seconds will be done and we'll actually have our bin and q file it's just fantastic you don't have to go on to you know rom websites where there's like a 50 billion ads popping up or trying to go into torrents to find a game that you already own this is just easy simple one location the downloads are fast no ads it's just safe and it's just easy okay so okay so this has now officially finished if you go to the untitled folder, there's a few folders here. There's only one that we're interested in, and that's the CD-ROM. You go to here, there's your bin and Q. If you go to the bin, it's about well, 300 meg. If you go to the Q file, we can you know get info. That's obviously not very big. And if we were to edit this, or you know, open up in the text editor, 
you'll see it's got the correct format as well. So I'm not going to show you how to add this to your PlayStation Classic these two because I've already created a video covering that. That's in the setup video of hacking the PlayStation Classic. So feel free to take a look at that video. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next epic video.